Okay, something happened. What, what? Oh, options. Recipe mode, that's better. And... Ooh, nighttime already. Well, something happened with the video and, you know, YouTube. Well, my friend suggested that I do an FTB playthrough, and I thought maybe that might be a little bit neat. So, not really too good at the moment, but this should teach me some stuff on this kind of thing. Hi, sheep. Wait, uh, oh, it's going up now. Well, if you think it's probably getting night really soon, it's, um, something happened with my video, and, well, you can see it crashed, kind of. Did it just... Oh, my gosh. Well, there's lots of mobs underground. From the mini map, you can see that. I like the mini map, kind of. It's really neat. Ooh, good. That up there. It's actually working for me. Yay! Well, let's start by collecting some wood and trying to survive the first night. Punching wood, how fun. So I'm not too, I, I don't know too much about all the mobs that spawn, but angry zombies, ugh. That might be a little bit difficult. They might not be too, the best, and I'll admit, I might not be too good with this right now, but I hope that no mobs spawn in this. I'll just, you know what? This might be a little bit fun to fight some mobs. Sorry. Why is it like internal, eternal data? It's like getting dark and then something's something is a little bit messed up. Huh. But I can actually, I've been watching a lot of this FTB stuff on YouTube, and well, I might not have taken my friend's suggestion if it wasn't for Etho, so I'm glad that he actually did that, so. Oh, I'm so used to the... getting dark, but I don't know what's making that. Man, I'm not sure if the, if the vanilla is, is, um, was playing with the normal, like, actually, like, the ones 
that I play right now, if that's a good thing or not that I play that, because it's a little bit different with some of the new features in 1.7 and Glad these red, this red cop, the redstone mountains, not redstone, orange, orange stone mountains, red rock, the red rock mountains have this. It's a good thing, so. Getting an upgrade, woohoo. It's daytime, but. Man, I'll tell you, this is just weird. Let's try to find some iron. Woo! Mine's a lot faster. I feel like it's mining faster than it does in vanilla, but I'm not sure if that's the case. It... Ooh, one of these things. I love these. This just feels like it's as fast as an iron pickaxe or something, but I'm not a Minecraft expert, so I don't really know. It's just how I feel like it's like right now. I'm not sure what this stuff is useful for. You! Mm. Aha. Is it just decoration? Shaped crown. Okay, this is kind of, I guess, useful in some ways. Oh, I see. Whenever I it gets in a dark area, like if I'm under a tree, is that a bug or I don't know. I'm not a Minecraft expert, like I say sometimes. Well, this stuff might be useful for decoration. There's, I guess, not really too much decoration blocks in this. Like, I mean, a lot of this is either vanilla or, well, actually, I'm not really sure, because some of this, because a lot, it used to just be, like, all functional blocks, never any useful blocks. Ooh, it might get nighttime soon. Good thing we got this red cobblestone to build a little, not dirt hut this time. Yeah. It's not the dirt hut like when, like most people do whenever they first start playing. It's not that dirt hut like most people start their things out with. It's a red, it's a red rock house. Well, red cobble. It's a red cobble house. I'm in my own. I know I'm gonna regret this. Ooh, mob. Keep the mobs from spawning quartz. What is, is that black stuff? What is, this stuff can hurt you though. Man, it's dark in here.
lost one, but doesn't really matter. Yes, the light. Be useful to make torches, so not all of them. The precious torches. The precious torches that will happen. Is this? Oh, that must be in the mod, because I don't remember seeing that ever in my vanilla worlds. But, um, kind of stop it right here for now, so.